hey guys welcome to my channel if you're new here please subscribe today i'm gonna be making this luscious mouth watering sweet and sour chicken and i hope you enjoy Chicken breast. There's like five or so pieces of chicken breast. Now you just want to slice your chicken breast. You want like small pieces, like quite small. Also, guys, if you didn't already know, this is my second cook with me video. So if you haven't watched my first video, then make sure you do because you know i'll be chefing it up real in the kitchen once your chicken is sliced diced whatever you want to call it once it's cut up it's time to season so i got some garlic seasoning some chicken seasoning some paprika like a chicken cube some mixed herbs and some salt unfortunately we ran out of my all-time favorite maggie and my all-purpose seasoning so we just had to make do but it still turned out great guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please please turn on that bell notification so you are notified for when i post a new video also on that note i want to say a massive thank you for 300 subscribers guys now the chicken is seasoned so here is our deep fryer and so now i've just coated the chicken in some plain flour and i'm just gonna fry it in this deep fryer you can also fry it in a pan if you want to but it's a bit easier to use a deep fryer so i'm just gonna fry my chicken i'm sorry but we just need to wait a minute we need to hold on we need to appreciate the goldenness of that chicken so for the actual sweet and sour sauce you'll need pineapple red pepper green pepper and an onion Obviously, if you're making more chicken, like if you want to make like a big bulk, you'll need more than one of each, but I'm just going to use one of each. So now I've washed and peeled my peppers and onion. So you don't want to slice your peppers, you want to cut them quite big and chunky. You just want to repeat the same process with the green pepper as well. You just want to cut it up in like, let's say, rectangles or squares. You know, you don't want it too thin. You want it on the thicker side. With your onion, you're going for that same diced effect. So what you want to do is you want to cut your onion in half and cut it three times and then just cut it another three times. You can see what I'm doing anyways. Because I feel like my, exp my explaining is like really, really bad, but... I'm sorry, but you can basically see what I'm doing anyways. And now using a tin of pineapple chunks, you just want to drain the juice out and use like roughly half of the tin. So for the actual sweet and sour sauce, we're using some tomato puree, some vinegar, some Worcester sauce, tomato ketchup, sugar and plain flour. So you just want to boil your vinegar and sugar so when your vinegar and sugar starts to boil you need to add the rest of the ingredients which is the Worcester sauce tomato puree and ketchup now you just want to fry your food So we're just going to let this fry for a couple of minutes and we're going to add some flour to just thicken out our sweet and sour sauce. So I've just added plain flour just to thicken out the sauce. I'm using a whisk just to whisk it. And 
and the rice is in the rice cooker boiling. If only you guys could smell how nice this smells. It's literally amazing. It's so cool. It's so sweet. Now we're just gonna do some egg fried rice. You just wanna wash and clean your spring onions and you just wanna slice them in half and just chop them. Then you just want to add your spring onions to your eggs. I've cracked like three eggs. And just seasoning my egg with salt and pepper. And giving it a good mix. And then now you just want to cook your eggs like as if you're doing scrambled eggs. Don't mind the fact that my eggs is on the browner side, you know. I like my eggs well done. You also want to season your rice to your preference. And this is the meal completed, guys. I also decided to do some sweet and sour prawns, which was amazing. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe.